Welcome to our community. Susie Thomas here with you this morning. We are visiting with Bing Newton. He's from Rally in the Valley. Good morning, Bing. Good morning. Uh, just before we went on the air, you said something about taking your morning walk, and that's your time to pray about the rally. Tell me about those prayer times, Bing. Well, uh, how it started was uh, um, I have a treadmill, and so when the weather's not too good, I, I go on the treadmill. But it was really, it was boring. <laughs> Wasn't enjoying it at all Yeah. until the Lord, uh, we changed it, and it became a spiritual walk. Mm. And so now he and I spend time every morning, and I tell him every day that uh, I just want to seek his divine wisdom and his guidance. Mm -hmm. What a nice way to look at, instead of morning exercise, just a, a visit, a nice just walk with God. Mm -hmm. um, what a great way to look. That can transform our attitude about working out in the morning, Bing. That's amazing. You're talking about transforming attitudes. Let's talk a little bit about Rally in the Valley. What's this event about? Okay. Uh, this is the eighth year for it. And uh, when it started, uh, you know, it ran anywhere from for a person to come. would run anywhere from $10 to $30, depending on... The, the budget of, of how much it would cost to get people in. Mm -hmm. But the last two years, it's been free. Really? This is a free conference? And it's a free one. How do you do that? Well, you know, uh, Susie, I, I don't do it uh, and couldn't do it, but I know somebody who can. Mm -hmm. And so he supplies it all, every, every need. And in fact, Lord willing... This rally will be paid for before we ever get there. This is just remarkable. Um, ha has God inspired the hearts of underwriters, uh, different business people? Who's providing the, we know that the Lord is providing the funding. What channels is he using to get this these finances to you? Well, uh, it, we, we think it's a one-on-one -on -one thing. Wow. So we have a fundraising committee. Mm -hmm. And... Um, Many of them, uh, they're just prayer warriors. But God is uh, opening up doors, and, and many times uh, these sponsors just send in their, uh, their checks, and, and I've never met them in my life. Wow, that is so cool. And we're talking about these things can be expensive. When you're working on these kinds of things, they add up. How much money are we talking about that it takes to put on Rally in the Valley? Probably in and around 90000 That's amazing. Wow. Well, we're celebrating with you the, the Lord's well, we, faithfulness. That we is appreciate awesome. that. So let's talk about the, the rally itself. You aim for a men's ministry, yes? Yes. Why is that important? I re see, I've been going to Promise Keepers for many, many years. And I think the difference between this is that even though our lives were impacted, when, the, when it was over, we boarded our, our buses and away we went. Well, this rally is different because we live here. We worship here, and then the fire stays here. And so it's just, um, it's just meant for men to uh, be raised up and to assume uh, their rightful responsibility in the home, uh, in their families, in their churches, in their communities. Hmm. You're talking about local men when... Uh we are speaking about who is invited. What counties are you hoping to draw from? Oh, they come from all over, really. Mm -hmm. um, they'll be from Cleveland all the way down into Steubenville and west. Um, 
out to around Mansfield in that area. Wow, so northeastern to central-ish Ohio. Uh, how many people do you tend to bring now? Bang, I know you said this is the eighth one. <clears throat> well, all I know is the Lord uh, had us purchase 10,000 wristbands. Wow. And at the moment, I have probably 40-some. Remaining? Remaining. Oh, my goodness. All right. Now. Well, for those 40 people that are listening right now, let's get them all the details. This is important. Yes. When, when and where will Rally in the Valley take place? All right. It'll be on April the 29th. Coming up. And it'll be at the Cavelli Center in Youngstown, Ohio. And it's totally free. Totally free. Awesome. All right. And uh, for folks who need a website or something for more information, do you have something like that or a Facebook page? We, we have Facebook and we also have a website. Okay. And if you go to mensrally.org. That's it, mensrally.org. Mm-hmm. Bing, what ministry is putting this on? Okay, is it, it is the uh, Men of Faith. Men of Faith. And it has, this is probably 20 years. I'm familiar with women of faith. Is men of faith the counterpart of women of faith? Well, really not. Um, This men of faith um, was involved way back in Promise Keepers. We'd probably gone to Promise Keepers 13 years. And then all at once, I called them for tickets and they said, Bing, uh, we got a problem. We're not having any more. And then that's when the Lord um, wanted us to have our own rally. So are you one of the founding members of Men of Faith? Or are you, you're working with it? Yes. There were, it all started with ten men. Wow. Tell me about those beginnings. When you think of something beginning with ten men those years ago, that you're now looking to impact 10,000 men Mm -hmm. in a few days. I know we're told not to despise the day of small beginnings. Tell me about those beginnings. All right. Uh, It all started, as I said, when we found out that they weren't having a, uh, a conference of any type. And so it began with this 10 men, and I shared this vision with them. And unbelievably, not one of them said, are you crazy, Bing? Uh, We don't have any money. Uh, We don't know how to put on a rally. (laughs) But the Lord just took those ten men and and told us to focus on him, and he would take care of all the money. Mm. Wow. And that's how we have done it from day one. What was the first rally like? First rally, I think... As I look back, it was it was completely different from any rally that we're now having because it was more or less men just getting together. It was it was nice and impacting, but as it has grown, I think where it has grown is the fact that we have just it's surrounded with prayer from from the very beginning of the year until the rally comes. Mm. And so when it comes, um, you can feel the uh, Holy Spirit. Just His presence is very, very much there. There's really something when men get together to worship with other men. Can you describe that atmosphere for us? I think it was... Um, Coming back from the very first Promise Keepers, I remember I showed a video clip. I was teaching a uh, young adult class, and it was only about a five-minute clip. But when uh, I was watching, and and the women, uh, many of them started to weep. Mm. And I asked them, I said, what brought you to that emotion? And uh, their responses stayed with me. They said, we've never seen men worship like that. Wow. And, and, and it's just, it's awesome to be there with men uh, lifting up Christ like that. 
if I may, men have it tough. They've got a tall order because they're kind of feel the responsibility of family, of work, of not that women don't as well, but there is a difference between men and women. Mm-hmm. And we're wi- we are wired differently, and men take on the responsibility to fix things, to fix everything. And so it's counterintuitive for any of us to let go and just submit to God. But it's got to be, you know, I'm wondering, I'm not a man, but I'm guessing that it might even be more counterintuitive for a man to just let go and submit to God but, oh, my goodness, what happens when that happens? Can, mm-hmm. can you talk about that a little bit? I think it's, it's I guess, tw- see, 20 years ago, um, I have to tell you that the theme of this year's uh, rally is Stand in a Gap. Mm-hmm. And 20 years ago, we had Stand in a Gap in, in Washington, D.C., and we were privileged to be there. 1.3 million men. Wow. And you know, I've told many, many people, I don't remember one word that was said. But what just blew me away was being there with 1.3 million men, mm. all lifting up Christ. It was it was the most awesome thing. You bring up such an an important point. Sometimes it's the experience itself and what God, mm-hmm. God just does the work. There might be some big names thrown out there to draw people, mm-hmm. and they've certainly prepared. I'm sure they prepared for weeks and months to get ready for it. But the fact that you don't really remember anything they said, and yet God used them and that whole experience to do some powerful work. Yes? That's true. In fact, uh I didn't even realize it was 20 years. But one of our speakers in this year, his name is David Bryant. And David Bryant, he's from New Jersey, and as he and I were talking, he said, Bing, do you realize it's 20 years since Standing the Gap in D.C.? He said, do you remember that? I said, I never thought about it. But God did. And there's a reason why uh, David Bryant is here, because... 20 years ago, he spoke at Stand in the Gap in D.C. Okay, I should know this before I ask it, but I've got to ask it anyway. Is that David Bryant who's affiliated with the Concerts of Prayer or a different David Bryant? Ooh, you just may be the same one. Is that right? The Concerts of Prayer? Guess who his Sunday school teacher was? Oh, don't tell me. My, My father. Well, come on. Not kidding. If it's the same one. Now, is it in New Jersey? No, that would have been that would have not been in New Jersey. Would he have only lived in New Jersey all of his life? Well, see, I I just met him. Okay, <laughs> we ask Wouldn't him. That be something. Ask him if he's got a Maslin connection, and then we then we would go from there. But <laughs> that would just be too much fun. And actually, a Malone University graduate too, to boot. If it's the concerts of prayer, David Bryant. So okay, had to ask. Oh. Um, <laughs> so, all right, we are speaking and having a great time with Bing Newton from Rally in the Valley. Let me give you all the particulars. This is going to be taking place April 29th at the Cavelli Center. Am I saying that correctly? You are. Mm-hmm. In Youngstown, Ohio, totally free and open to the public. What times, Bing, should people okay, plan on Okay, we're going to open at 8.45, and it'll open with the shofar. And uh, then we have... Uh, a young lady, her name is, uh, well, her da- let me say her dad's name was Ray Charles. And her name is C- uh, Sheila. And she is going to sing uh, God Bless America. Mm. So that'll be the opening at a quarter of nine, and it'll go to uh, four o'clock. The Ray Charles? The Ray Charles. Huh? Wow. Wow. Okay. We need to quick take a quick break. While we're taking a quick break, go to mensrally.org and sign up for this. There are only 40 tickets left. You're listening to Our Community.